It's been nearly a year since Rachel Morin's murder, and now police have arrested the man they believe to be her killer. WMAR 2 News' Xavier Wary has the latest on the investigation. Friday night, police arrested 23-year-old Victor Antonio Martinez Hernandez in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tonight, we learn more about Hernandez, his criminal past, and the work police put in to get him off the street. At one point, um, when things seemed like really bleak and hopeless, the lead detective said to me, he said, patience will win in the end. And that's what they've been doing. Overwhelmed with emotion, Patricia Morn was pleased knowing the murder suspect in her daughter's case is behind bars. And it just gave me such hope that they really did care about our family and my daughter, that they were going to work diligently to find the person that murdered her. The suspect, Victor Hernandez, is a 23-year-old El Salvador citizen who illegally came to the states back in February of 2023. The Harper County Sheriff's Office says upon finding Hernandez in Tulsa, they learned Rachel was not his first victim. We all suspected that perhaps Rachel was not his first victim. And it's my understanding that this suspect, this monster, fled to the United States illegally after committing the brutal murder of a young woman in El Salvador a month early in January of 2023. Police say he is also responsible for brutally attacking a nine-year-old girl and her mother during a home invasion in Los Angeles. This killer could have been laying his head in any community in the country or even in the world and indeed, that was completely accurate. Hernandez now faces first degree murder and rape charges. The sheriff says failed immigration policies unnecessarily put lives like Rachel's at risk. 1,800 miles from the southern border, and this is the second woman in our county to be killed by an illegal alien. Suspects, uh, in both cases, they are suspects from El Salvador with ties to criminal gangs. Hernandez will be extradited back here to Maryland at some point. Police did not give an exact date on when that will happen. They say that this case is also under investigation. In Baltimore, Xavier Wary, WMAR 2 News.